Hello guys, it's Lee. Hey, today what we're working on, and you may have seen this in a previous video, but right there, that 42 inch Craftsman mower. I think it's a 2016. Um, you know, I'll usually get them in, get them running good. The normal process I have is, is um, and I don't always put this on video, and I usually don't, but after I get it running good, I'll take the blades off and sharpen them. Well, in the meantime, I have been emailing with a company called Ecraban. I hope I'm saying it right. Ecraban. And, um, and they just said, hey, we'd like to collaborate with you. Are you interested in working with us? And I said, well, sure, you know, you know, we could do that. And um, they said, well, what, you know, what would you like for us to send you? Well, at the same time, I was just getting this mower in. I said, well, I'm working on a 42 inch Craftsman mower, what you got for that? And um, they said, well, okay, we got some blades right here for 42 inch Craftsman. I said, yeah, because I'm gonna take them off anyway, sharpen them. I said, I might as well put a new set of blades on this. I don't know if it needs it, I haven't even looked at them yet, but we're gonna go ahead and do that anyway. So that's what this is all about. So what I got, so Ecraban, and I'm gonna put in the, a link in the description of the blades, right there they are. I just got the box in. And so we're going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to see the quality that they look like. Then I'm going to take the blades off the mower, kind of do a comparison to see if the thickness and the length and all that adds up and to see if it's, uh, you know, a good setup. Uh, but let's unbox it and see what I got. So let's go ahead and get this uh, opened up here. This old box for a set of blades. All right, that's what, how they come right here. Let's see what this says, um, Ecraband, all right, part number 134149. Mower blades for, um, it's got some other part numbers. So let's go ahead and get this open. Right there they are. All right, so I'm gonna lose the box. We'll wait some working on it. That's gonna go on the John Deere sometime. All right, so this is what we got right here. Star pattern. Fifteen sixteenth socket. All right, got it set up. Now we're going underneath. All right, safety first. You need some, uh, you know, I got a chain hoist here, so I'm pretty good, but never put your head underneath one of these. Um, a little tip is the blades. These are the old ones, but these blades are always facing up, like they're up toward the deck. That's how, because it's easy to put them on backwards. There it is, right there. So let's go ahead and measure these out. Make sure they're right. Well, something else you want to check on is that star pattern. Make sure it's good and rigid. Sometimes they get rounded off. That looks good. That's a good rigid. So remember, this is a 42 inch deck. So let's take the measurement on it. Hey, if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to Murphy Mower. All right. So the actual measurement on this, 21 inches. And of course the old one, 21 inches. So it's a good match. You know, the old one's got the star pattern there. Remember the blades go up toward the deck. You know, these little curves. So that's the way it'll go on there. And you want to be very specific about getting these lined up in there nicely. So it don't round off. Let's go ahead and put them on. Like I say, it's pretty easy to get these backwards. But that's the right way. You know, that's kind of like that going up. So you want to get this locked in. Huh. 
Thank you. So the difference in these two blades, and I didn't re realize this, but the top one has five stars. The bottom one had six. So obviously it didn't match up. So I had to get a different mower. All right, so we're on mower number two. This is another one I got in. Remember, what we're looking for is to put these blades on one, two, three, four, five star blade pattern, which is going to be a Craftsman AYP type mower. Before we take it off, let's see. One, two, three, four, five stars. So we're going to give it a try here. Right there it is. That's what we're wanting. So I'm gonna replace it with this new blade. Come on, baby. Oh, it goes this way. I'm sorry. It's easy to put them on upside down, isn't it? There's that. Gotta make all sure that's good and flush in there. Get it started with your hand anyway. There's that one. In there. I'm trying to stay out of the way of the camera. Okay. So now let's just turn them. Make sure they ain't hitting anything. I need to take some of this out. Do a little clean up while you're here. All right, so I'm gonna spend just a little bit of time. So this is a new mower. So I didn't know this, by the way, is a DYT 4000, 2012. Let me show it to you in the background. 2012 Craftsman mower, 42 inch. That's what the blades are. And I'm gonna, this is one I just got in, had an oil leak and had some carburetor issues. But it's one I found that those blades fit on. So I'm doing kind of two videos in one. You can see another video with me working on the engine. But this one's specifically toward the blades. And we'll just see how they perform. Now don't pay attention to how the engine's running when I'm out there. But it will run good enough to, um, you know, to test this out. Um, I'm going to make sure the deck's level. And then next thing you'll see is probably me mowing with it. And we'll see the quality of cut. By the way, these are the two separate sets of blades. One, two, three, four, five. So there's six right there. One, two, three, four, five right there. That's uh, just a lesson for if you got an AYP Crashman Moore, Husqvarna. Um, I think Aaron's is the same way. Count your stars. But there's the package of the new blades I got. That is the information. Trying to make sure it's in focus. I think it is. Don't have my glasses on. I will put a link in the description. I will buy these blades again. I didn't buy those. They sent them to me for free. But, um, you know, I told them in an email that I was going to give them a true uh, fight on, uh, review. And um, that's what I'm doing. I mean, the thickness, I mean, the blade thickness was equal to what I had and um, seemed to be of good quality. So I, I like the company. Um, and I would, next time I order blades for something, I'll go through them and see if they got them. So anyway, I'm out. We'll see you.